time to creating seating charts, uh, one thing that I would recommend that you do is take a step back and take a look at your grade book. It's important to keep in mind that when you're doing your, your seating charts, you're not going to clearly see which class period is which. Rather, you have to be able to understand your class code and section number, and the section numbers aren't necessarily in the same order as your day. So in this case, section 7 is my period 1. So what I would recommend that you do is just really quick on a piece of paper, make a note of your class periods, one through whatever, and write down at least the code, in this case, E025, 7, the section number. That way you know what's your first, second, third, fourth, and fifth classes. Second thing, uh, you notice if I get down to period 7, I actually have two different period 7 courses, ZEM625, as well as the M625Q, which is a Q-coded class that's within that class period. You will probably see something very similar to this in a couple of uh, examples. One, you have an office assistant, a peer tutor, a TA, whatever it's called at the school. That is part of a seventh period class. That's actually a whole different course during period seven. If you have like an art class, you may have an art two and art four and art six students in that class. Other common places would be like world language, where maybe you have second and third year Spanish students in a class. Make a note what those numbers are uh, as far as sections in the class periods, because if you are interested in using your seating chart to take attendance, you have to be very careful about how you build those seating charts, and I'm going to show you that just next. So please consider right now uh, what your class periods are, the course code, and the sections, and that will help you in the next part when we actually start creating the seating chart itself. There's going to be two videos that will follow. First video is going to be a very traditional classroom setup if you have rows of desks. And then the second video is going to be if you have maybe table groups, lab benches, or things like this. Regardless, you need to know which of the uh, class periods and sections you're teaching as you set up those charts.